Greetings, folks. This is Gerard from West Texas. Bought a piece of raw land. Come along on the voyage from living in a tent to building an automated ranch. That off-grid lifestyle, where it at? Get that freedom, y'all. That's where money comes from. And including people in this adventure, that's where you're following and money from your Patreon. So we got the check dams. All the check dams up here. That should either slow the water down or hopefully the ones with sediment in them end up grouping together and forming a dam on its own. Just a bunch of them up this river, just tons and tons and tons. Then we have one big one all the way at the end. And then a really big dam. That should hopefully uh, stop all the water. Or at least slow it down. Yeah. Poop. Good old coyote poop. to here the biggest check dam hopefully this one really stops it all distance this is a check dam here my son's made right so what's happening is the water's coming down faster it's hitting these different check dams and it's slowing the water down so instead of the water rushing down torrentially off of the plateau it's coming down slow because it's hitting, I forgot how many check dams they did going all the way up. But it hits this, it slows down the water, uh, uh, and this one, it's overflowing. The reason why it's overflowing this one is because the second one is right there. Freya's having a great time. She loves the water. So is Anubis. So it's hitting this check dam here. That's backing up, slowing the water down so the dam further down isn't getting inundated with water. And so what's happening is that's backing it up, creating this sandbar and pushing the water down another route. So you have multiple approaches of water that are going down and that's kind of spreading the water out. So down there in the distance, you probably can't see. Well, I know I can't see because it's just too over flooded. You don't have all the water rushing at the dam and there's another check dam in the distance. Okay, it's a check dam update. That was a video my son did when he first got here. One of them it was... Uh, it was good to see how they started documenting the work they did in building all the check dams. But this is kind of just a check dam video update. So just walking up the check dam, you can see, you know, all the deposits of sand uh, above all the check dams. In fact, the funny thing in this arroyo is all level now. And so there's enough sand that drops off while the silt keeps running that levels everything out. And so this is what you want to do to stop soil erosion in your arroyos. You want to build check dams to spread the water out. And as the water spreads out, let more uh, sediment gets deposited, which spreads the water out even more, which means you get less soil erosion from higher up. So just digging down, you can just see this is all sand and rocks. And there's also, that's where gold <laughs> gets deposited, but we won't go there, you know? And so this is just the benefit of building check dams. I, I think I talked about check dams uh, in an earlier video. I might've misspoke and called one of my other dams a check dam where I was checking the dams and it sounded like I said check dam. But no, a check dam is built with large rocks, uh, jagged to fit the sides of the arroyo, designed so that the clay and the silt, that uh, the sediment in the water uh, 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 that's levitated will continue flowing, but the sand will fall off. You know, the benefit with us in building ponds is we use that excess sediment, uh, but, to, to, but to stop this. And this is what you don't want. You don't want channels of water racing through your property, creating waterfalls, taking all that soil and washing it away. You want to build larger pools and ponds to hold that, uh, so to, to spread the water out, um, as well as to, to, to allow you to keep the soil so you can grow what you need to grow. But this is what you don't want right here. So this is, it's totally eroded right here to, to rock. I believe that's almost bedrock, you know, and then see all that, muddy water that's all the soil needed to grow the plants and the trees that the 
the the birds need for the trees and the rabbits and all the mammals that feed upon that. So, but anyway, it's just a kind of a, a, a quick update. You know, this is what's happening with the check dams after about four years, uh, what the kids had built near the dog, just enjoying the water, you know, but you don't want this. You want to back all that up, spread all that water out, retain that soil and green the desert. So this is Gerard just giving you all a quick check dam update. Y'all have a great day now.